dancers are very aware that we have plenty of dances already in our repertoire of our dance groups, and we are not going to come to Stockton and bring home 45 more dances. We'll pick some, some will say, that was interesting, and we'll leave it alone. We'll just have experienced it once. We know that's going to happen. So with that in mind, I did something unusual, never done this before, had a class that was danced through the evolution of swing to see that swing very likely evolved from the polka. And just step by step, it was aided, the reconstruction was aided by two films at critical points where it transitioned from the polka to the two-step to the Texas Tommy, the first swing out dance, and then transition evolved just a little bit into the two-step done at the Savoy Ballroom in the 20s, which was renamed Lindy Hop in 1928. So those two dances together, and everybody danced them. We kept it fairly low impact, but it was just a way to experience how um, one of America's most famous vernacular dances, or folk dances, came to be. So from 1910, San Francisco, the Texas Dan Tommy was a dance of the African-American population. And we showed first, the two-step that was popular in the ragtime, or a smooth two-step, the one, two, three, uh, dum, 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 or it could be in place with uh, dum, bum, bum, dum, bum, bum. That was the two-step. Then the blacks in San Francisco, Barbary Coast, some of them did that step with more of a pounding down and down style, almost like a chicken scratch, with a down and down, down and down. And a gallop went down and down and down and down, like that. What's interesting to me as a dance historian is those are clearly polka steps, not just the two step. And the polka wasn't one step, it was a family of steps. The gallop, the chasse, was part of the polka family. There it was in the Texas Tommy. Pivots, if you know Bohemian National Polka, are part of the polka family. So they would take each other in shoulder hold and pivot around. But then you let it go. You came right back into it again. One, two, spin around and right back into it again or maybe catching your hand and coming right back into some other position. So they changed the step to a pivot step, and then probably the most distinctive step was a new one. It had a kick. It was an in and out and in and out, bouncing like a jackhammer, off of the two hands. Now this was a transition between the polka and two-step, which only traveled to swing Lindy Hop, which was only in place. So this was in place. This was brand new at the time, not traveling, a social act. And a in and out and in and out. There were some variations we'll do with the music. So that was the Texas Tommy step. And then if he brings her into shoulder hold, that's a warning, you might start pivoting pretty soon. There was one more was done. If we took right hands, she could wind on in to this position here. And this, even today, is known as the Texas Tommy. Wind out and then wind in. It looks a little bit different in eight counts, a triple step of today, or of the 1930s, revived today. But if we pivot, the one, two, three, four, he lets her go, he watches her come back in. And this same figure is in a film of Shorty Snowden dancing with Big B. He puts a hand behind her back, spins her out, very fast, of course. So with a little bit of music, we'll show all four of the steps and um, some of the figures. <laughs> 